Hey hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I have something really awesome to discuss with you guys because me and Troy kind of figured out today something that we didn't expect. So this South Korean tech farm said like we're going to make the most powerful graphics cards work even better. So they developed a new kind of GDDR6 memory that jumped from 20 nanometer technology all the way to 10 nanometer technology. So let's talk a little bit more about this little new memory because this is going to be really interesting for cryptocurrency mining of course. We're gonna benefit of course out of this new technology as well and hopefully we don't have to replace all our hardware. So according to Samsung, chips will launch this year, according with the GTX 2070 or maybe even the regular versions that we know today, like the normal 1080 Ti's. We don't know that, but the performance and densities made possible in these new chips are like totally new. This is going to be a very big difference on how much bandwidth these graphics cards can make. And as we know, Ethereum mining is mostly focused on the bandwidth. If you see that a Tesla V100 has 900 gigabits per second and it can do 94 megashits per second, you can clearly see that the difference in bandwidth really does make a matter. But of course, they also think that these graphics cards will do way better in efficiency. It's actually 35% more efficient than before. So I could expect a hatch rate of about 45 to 50 mega ashes using about 120 watts on a system using the new GDDR6 memory. Me and Troy calculated like the previous generation with the GDDR5 memory and we calculated ourselves what the hatch rate was going to be we had 10.7% off on our calculations. So when we fill this in for the GDDR6 memory, we can clearly see that for the 8 gigabyte version of the GDDR6 memory, it's about to be the same or just a little bit better. But when the 16 gigabyte version pops out, you can clearly see that we're gonna double the hash rates pretty easily. So why is this going to be released pretty soon? Well we do need revolution in memory as well. It's not only the chips that the graphics cards are going to make better, but also the memory. And the memory is really important for the graphics cards. Even when newer textures and bigger games are coming out that need more textures to fit into the graphics card are going to need this new memory. So Samsung did a really good thing, but one more thing. Samsung is the best way to have for mining. So let's say these graphics cards do 45 to 50 megashits per second at about 120 watts. If these memory chips end up in an AMD graphics cards, we, we may be able to BIOS mod them because Samsung memory is really easy to BIOS mod and we might be able to draw 100 or 120 watts and we might do like 60 megashits per second. It's more of going to be 50-ish, like 55 for each. But who knows, this might be a really big thing and I'm really looking forward to it. So I wanted you guys to know a little bit more about this new GDDR6 memory, that it's might going to change the whole way of mining and hopefully we don't have to sell our hardware because that, that should be a big problem. Because these graphics cards will run twice the speed at even better efficiency. So that might be a problem indeed. But of course, I just wanted to let you know this and we know that before we expected that the Vegas were going to be 70 to 100 megashes per second as well. But when we ran the calculations once again, it was actually more like 60-ish and we're, we're in the range of 40, 45. Even water cooled, we can grab it and get it a little bit better. But of course, it is a thing we need to learn and in the future we try to get some better predictions but this one should be right on the top and I will put the link in the description for you guys so you can check it out yourselves and maybe you have a better solution of calculating the exact hash rates of a graphics card. It's really complicated but it is possible for sure. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today 
and see you guys in the next one.